Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's August 1st, uh, Thursday morning, and uh, we've got some consolidation going on in the uh, grain markets here today. Uh, corn market uh, backed off of its highs made late yesterday. Uh, soybeans and wheat uh, fairly steady as we open uh, the uh, new month. The uh, uh, news this morning, uh, we scratch around for new news, but uh, weather conditions uh, continue to be uh, good for the corn. We uh, getting reports now from all reporting stations of how dry July was, but with the systems and the uh, amount of rain that continues to uh, spread across the corn belt, uh, relieves some of that uh, shortfall and crop conditions uh, look pretty good at this point in time. We uh, are also seeing uh, traders already. Uh, talking about the August 12th uh, crop report and uh, the supply demand report and what the USDA might use as uh, yield numbers and uh, we'll get some uh, an estimate out this afternoon after the close from FC Stone. Uh, other uh, forecasters are beginning to raise their yield estimates. Uh, the USDA had uh, 163.6 as their uh, trend yield, and, and trade is now getting uh, closer to that number with the uh, improving conditions that we're seeing uh, across the Corn Belt. Uh, other news, uh, the China's uh, PMI number was a little better than uh, what trade was expecting. They were thinking it could fall below 50. It came in just above 50 on the uh, PMI. However, other data like housing and inflation uh, were not quite as exciting. So uh, causing the dollar to be stronger here this morning, outside markets have got a risk-on type attitude, and that uh, may carry over into the uh, grain market as we uh, open the uh, the market here again at uh, 8.30. Uh, France and Germany are uh, concerned about their uh, quality of wheat. Uh, their harvest will begin uh, here uh, very soon after the heavy rains that they've had, uh, expecting uh, uh, quality problems there. So uh, that is uh, creating some uh, some concerns in the world market. Uh, Ukraine also announced overnight that they expect to be very aggressive uh, exporters this year of uh, grains as their harvest is uh, and surpluses will be running at a record. The um, other news uh, from the poultry industry, we had egg sets and chick placements numbers out yesterday uh, show that they're increasing uh, rapidly, 3 to 4 percent higher than a year ago. Uh, looks like they're uh, getting ready for uh, cheaper feed uh, prices and uh, uh, getting ready to increase their uh, production. In the livestock uh, cattle uh, trade, uh, still at a standstill, uh, cutout values still wobbling. Uh, choice down 46, select down one cent uh, yesterday. Pork cutout was down uh, eight cents. Uh, looking for some uh, improvement in demand as we go into August, so uh, we'll be watching that very closely here, uh, the balance of the week and the first of next week to see if we can uh, see institutional buyers, uh, retail uh, restocking of shelves to help improve uh, this product demand and in turn uh, should support the, uh, the cash uh, markets as we uh, go forward, especially in the cattle. Hogs, however, a uh, little bit of the opposite story there. Look, look to see uh, heavier and larger hog numbers come to market as we move into uh, late August and September time frame. So stay in touch with Allend Allendale's research. We'd... Uh, We'll try to answer any questions you have. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.